I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Um, <clears throat> we were we lost our power last night for about two hours because we had a really bad um, storm come through. It was like unexpected because they kept telling us how hot it was going to be and um, oops, I'm sorry that I'm kind of messing with my thing here, but um, we had two two uh, thunderstorms come through here last night and um, the second one knocked the power out for a couple hours and felled a few trees around the place and uh, you know it's it was just an interesting time but but I thought this morning I would put together be, because it's been so terribly hot all across the country um, I thought it might be a good idea to put together a playlist on my channel there's a, and we're going to call it hot weather dinner ideas for right now. And there's a, it's just a collection of all the videos I've done that have to do with salads, sandwiches, salad dressings, um, cool weather uh, meal ideas and things like that. You know, I have my cold platter, the taco salad that I just did. There's crab salad and chicken salad and um, there's all kinds of salad dressing recipes and um there might be a couple of there's I think there's a seven layer dip thrown in there because you know sometimes that's just yummy for supper and you want it quick you want it easy and you want it cold <laughs> I know that we do so um I also wanted to mention that do not discount the abilities of your crock pot or your slow cooker um, or your pressure cooker during uh, hot weather like this. Now, just because you're going to use those things doesn't mean you have to use them in your house. Put them in your carport, on your covered patio, in your garage. Plug them in close to the you know the door where you can reach them from the kitchen, and and set them off to go out there because it's so much simpler to run those hot appliances out in the heat already because number one they're not going to have to work especially the crock pot the crock pot honestly out in the heat it's going to disperse its heat into the hot air already and it not into your kitchen and even though you may not think that the crock pot is going to heat up your kitchen it does um, and during this hot weather anything you can do to help your air conditioning unit work a little less hard is the best idea because I don't even want to think about what my electric bill is going to look like when it comes next month but to be very honest with you I detest being uncomfortable when it's hot and I absolutely refuse to be so while we still are able to run the air conditioner that's what we're going to do we were very fortunate yesterday when the storm came through that it dropped the it dropped the temperature literally by about 30 degrees. I mean, the heat index was around 115. It dropped it dropped the temperature. When we went to bed last night, it was 70 degrees outside. Um, it was beautiful. It felt so nice. It's almost you know open up the windows except it was humid. So I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I'm going to put a link below um, to the playlist for the hot weather dinner ideas. Hopefully. Hopefully it helps everybody out. Sometimes we need each other to come up with new and interesting things to, to eat. Sometimes when it's hot, we don't want to eat. But we still have kids we have to feed. So this is just my little suggestion. And I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. But I am going to tack on a little video that I took during the storm last night. Um, just so you can see what it looked like. It's actually taken, I think, around 6 6.30 yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. So I hope that helps. I hope you get some inspiration and, and try out a few new things if you, if you haven't tried these out already. And um, I hope you stay cool. And until next time, I'll see ya. This is what it's doing at my house right now. This is at my kitchen door. It was almost, it was over 100 degrees with the heat index today. It's not anymore, and our power went out. This is what it looked like during Hurricane Irene, and it is uh, currently coming out of the sky and hurricane force winds. And now I'm going to walk you through my dark house. 
to my front door so that I can show you what it looks like in the front yard. I can hear the pine cones falling off the trees and hitting the roof. Look it. And there's lots of lightning. I love it when it's like this, but I sure would like it if my power was on. <laughs> it's the only thing I don't like. And the dogs don't much like the thunder either. It looks much more ominous out the back door, but look, you can see how bad the trees are blowing. This was definitely a surprise. They were calling for a very hot, dry day today. And this kind of came out of nowhere. But it does give us a little bit of a cool respite because the temperature has actually dropped about, uh, I don't know, 30 degrees. Well, that's all. See ya. We're gonna go wait it out. My battery's getting ready to die anyway.